What's up y'all, Capone Town Tony here, and welcome to another Ever Crisis video. So in this one, I'm going to go through Battle Tower 27 of the Brutal Tower. Uh, this is against the uh, Iron Giant. He uh, hits very, very hard. And uh, this is the team I went with. I think you have multiple ways you can go about this battle. But for me in particular, I kind of went with a lot of D-Braves and Breaches and just stacking physical defense up as high as I could on all my characters while still making Cloud a decent enough DPS to get through the battle. So I'll start with uh, one of my supports, which is Red 13. I just gave him his healing costume for yeah physical defense, heal. Uh, I gave him this limit break, which is very important, Stardust Ray. It's going to remove physical attack up multiple times in the battle. It's going to come in clutch a couple times, and yeah, because during this battle, he keeps boosting his physical attack up five tiers, and this comes in clutch a few times just to get rid of it immediately. So very, very nice to have. Um, Silver Collar for debuffing water resistance. Um, also, you can get in a nice little Kira, uh, you know, all, all Kira slot. Uh, Hell House Collar is just for HP, physical defense. Like I said, stacking a lot of physical defense. Red's at 227 physical defense. And then D-Brave and Breach. These are just nice to have. Like, uh, we're going to be using this Limit Break a lot to remove physical attack, but we're going to need D-Braves early on, and as well as Breaches, because if you get all, if you get rid of all five uh, Breach like he breach, you know, he stacks his physical defense up five tiers multiple times too and if you get rid of all that physical defense up with just breaches use it five times he, he'll fall over and tumble or topple whatever and then you'll be able to do a lot of damage with cloud during that phase uh for Aerith, uh she's rocking 235 defense if you don't have Aerith, you could go with matt uh I guess you can go with what centipede and then I guess foam sword because you can remove physical defense with foam sword. Actually, very nice too. Uh, but yeah, Aerith here, she's uh, pretty much just the healer slash the kind of getting in a D brave every now and then. But I, my main focus for Aerith is to pretty much heal the party, you know, as well as doing a uh, Kamar one, which can boost Cloud's physical attack uh, during multiple points in the fight. Uh, by the way, the sub equip, um, I got this bouquet for Zach, PDF all allies stat stick, um, buff debuff extension HP, and as well as, uh, P attack all allies weapons, gonna help Cloud do a little bit of damage. Uh, for Aerith, I have the OB7 rocket punch, which is gonna be, um, physical defense up at, what, 20%, because it's on the back. It's going to help the whole party again. Physical defense, very, very important for this fight. He attack all allies weapon to help Cloud do damage. And then Centipede just for the heals and buff debuff extension. Uh, for Cloud, he's the main DPS. He's gonna, he has his new costume. I don't have Glenn really built out, so Cloud is pretty much my only alternative. Uh, Bahamut Greatsword is fantastic. Uh, well, pretty much I just use it during one phase in the fight when he's toppled over, get into haste, and then just start wailing on him with uh, damage. Uh, you know, Mary Time Sword, just OB6, nothing crazy. Uh, and then as well, Breaches and D-Braves, very, very nice to have in these fights. And then just weapons that are going to improve his physical attack, water potency, and physical building potency. See, like these stats, nothing crazy as well. A lot, good amount of HP to help him survive hits because his defense is not as high as the other two characters. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, if you don't want to use red, I think you can probably use Barrett uh, with his Shark Slayer and what his uh, defense up weapon for agitation. Um, yeah, Salt Gun. Um, what else? Probably you could use Zack as well because you can do water debuffing as well with uh, what Black Whiskers. And yeah, multiple options you can go for this fight. But this is the setup I went with. Um, so yeah, I'll go into the fight right now and yeah, you can see how I did this. But yeah, a lot of. Uh, you got to go into defensive mode a lot during his swipes, but he kind of telegraphs his attacks pretty easily, so you can go into defensive mode. You kind of know when to expect it. And, uh, yeah, I think that kind of covers it. Um, not too difficult. Let's get into it.
So yeah, not too difficult of a fight once you kind of understand what to expect. Uh, you just pretty much need to have all your buffs applied and have him completely debuffed before he gets off his Grand Sword or his other physical attacks. Because if you do not have him completely debuffed, you know, like at least one tier down of physical, physical attack, and then have your physical defense up, it's going to be uh, kind of a tough fight. So, uh, yeah, a lot of stacking. Stack your defense as high as you can and stack get his physical attack as low as you possibly can. So that's pretty much, you know, the best advice I can give you. You could use probably other characters for weapons that will, you know, specifically get his physical attack down like Tifa's like leather gloves or there's multiple characters that have those type of weapons but I can just show you right here that it is possible just by using breaches and V-Braves right good old fashioned materia <laughs> so yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys I hope you found it helpful um yeah if, uh, if you enjoy my ever crisis content please give this video a like comment and subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all on the next one later